The lady who posted this video says it illustrates the worst thing to ever happen to her family. The family business, growing strawberries, has been forced to dump its product at the busiest time of the year. Supermarkets won't buy the fruit in normal quantities because their customers fear what the strawberries may contain. Last week, there was what seemed like an isolated case of a sewing needle inserted in a strawberry, probably by a disgruntled employee at a strawberry farm. But since, there have been reports of more than 20 copycat incidents around Australia. In relation to the motivation, in relation to these offences, we still haven't uh, um, have any confirmed motivation or reasons why a person would want to do this. There is speculation that some cases are children putting needles into strawberries while they're sitting on shop shelves. Other cases are complete hoaxes, people pretending to find needles in strawberries once they're home. It's not a joke. It's not funny. You're putting the livelihoods of hard-working Australians at risk and you're scaring children and you're a coward and you're a grub. And if you do that sort of thing in this country, we will come after you and we will throw the book at you. The government plans to bring in emergency legislation with prison sentences of up to 10 years for hoaxes and up to 15 years for contamination endangering others. Those in Australia's strawberry industry are recommending that people cut up their fruits before biting into it. But some are choosing not to buy strawberries at all. And for the industry, worth nearly $100 million a year, that's a crisis. Strawberries that are being sold are heavily discounted almost as low as the equivalent of one US dollar a punnet. And farmers of other fruits are fearful too. Someone has claimed to have found a needle in a banana and in Sydney, an apple. That just freaked me out because I'm thinking, my daughter normally just grabs and just bites into apples. The strawberry scare threatens to spread. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.